In week two, more crazy records, but these ones we can verify. Nebraska Kearney's Arthur Hobbs ran back two interceptions for touchdowns in their win over Northeastern State. In all, Hobbs had three interceptions for 214 yards. That is a new NCAA Division II record. And Colorado Mesa's Connor Wright couldn't go wrong against Dixie State. The defensive end had six quarterback sacks. That is a new RMAC record. He also had seven and a half tackles for loss. Also a single game conference mark. Colorado Mines playing their home opener in week number two. The Ore Diggers entertaining South Dakota School of Mines and Technology. As Chris Poulton reports, this would be a meeting of the minds. Colorado Mines looking to make it seven wins in a row at home. Number 44, Alex V. Hill leading the defense. He stops the South Dakota Tech running back for a three-yard loss. Clay Garcia then takes that momentum on the offensive side, connecting with Gerard Doucette on a 25-yard touchdown pass. Diggers lead 7-zip. Later on in the first, it's once again Garcia to Doucette, this time for a 10-yard TD. Mines leads 14-0. Second quarter, Mines answers after a hard rocker score with an 11-play, 80-yard drive capped off by a 20-yard TD pass from Garcia to Eric Shannon. It's now a 20-7 lead for the Colorado version of Mines. Ore Diggers then get the running game going. Dan Palmer, who would be the Armac slash Rawlings Offensive Player of the Week, scores three times, including this 52-yard rumble into the end zone. Colorado Mines leads 34-7. They would cruise to victory 55-7. Coach Bob Stitt excited with the balance of his offense. It takes a lot of pressure off of the passing game and the offensive line and Clay to get the running game going. And Dan's done a fantastic job these first couple weeks, but it all starts up front with, with Coach Carey's offensive line. They've done a great job. Just having that guy back there, I mean, I wouldn't want to try and tackle him. And our new coach, our O-line coach, Coach Carey, has really gotten our O-line playing well, and they're doing a great job up front. In Golden, Chris Poulton for the RMAC Showcase. Thank you, Chris. After knocking off West Texas A&M, CSU Pueblo is ranked in the top 25. The T-Wolves playing their home opener against Northwest Oklahoma State. CSU Pueblo had not lost a home opener since bringing back football in 2008. The T-Wolves running out of the big inflatable T-Wolf and would be running away with the game early on first drive. Defense makes a play. Northwest Oklahoma's QB hit as he throws. Mark Sterling comes up with the interception. Pueblo converts with a field goal. Next drive, the Rangers punter can't handle the snap. He gets swarmed by the pack and they take advantage again. Dowson to Kobe Wittick, 17 yards. CSUP leads 10-0, third possession for Pueblo. They only need one play, Jesse Lewis, the senior. Looks like he's down, but he's not. Lewis emerges from the pile and goes 56 yards for pay dirt. CSU Pueblo leading 17 zip in the first quarter. Northwest Oklahoma just not their day. Ensuing possession, Lee Meisner picks off the pass. The Armac preseason defensive player of the year rumbles 38 yards to set up a Lewis one yard score. Pack leads 24 nada. Lewis rushes in his third touchdown of the day. It's 34-0 at that point. T-Wolves go on to win. 41 to nothing. Lewis rushes for 75 yards in one half, but the folks in Pueblo still see room for improvement. I, I think we're a little better team. I think we've got over uh, much better overall depth. I think our offense could be a little bit sharper at this point. Um, I don't quite like where, where we are, but you know we we got a long ways to go to where we, where we want to get to. I think we picked it up. We did what we needed to do, and. You know, that, that's that's not a bad football team we played. So I, I don't want people to think that. That was a good team that we just played, and I think we just executed in all three phases. 